I have uh, last five years of my life for nothing. Just uh, uh, with no having a trial and nothing. I should have the right to go to court and uh, sue those responsible people who tortured me and everything. De la part des États-Unis, on n'a eu aucune explication sur la, la période qu'on a passée à Guantanamo. Pourquoi autant de temps Pourquoi est-ce qu'on y a été détenu Pourquoi est-ce qu'on y a été maltraité On n'a jamais eu de réponse. Et de la part de la France, eh ben, on a été condamné et on n'a jamais compris pourquoi. Parce qu'on nous reprochait des faits qui se sont passés en dehors du territoire. Et, euh, et donc voilà, c'est pour ces, ces, ces raisons qu'on n'a pas trop bien compris en fait, la situation. Immediately after the release, there was an explosion of attention to the CIA's role in a global conspiracy to torture dozens of individuals. And we had a real intense conversation about what the CIA did and what the U.S. government should do to punish them. Uh, since December, unfortunately, some of the attention has subsided and we need to think about ways to keep the pressure on. There was of course public attention around the release of the report but from a judicial point of view in terms of willingness to prosecute those responsible for the CIA torture program there is still no willingness uh, in the United States. The authorities have made clear that they think there are a number of obstacles uh, for these prosecutions, which we don't think really apply. But also Obama, already in 2009, said that he thinks it's better to look forward rather than backwards. After the release of 10% uh, of the full um, torture report, um, not much happened in the US. We thought once the facts are on the table, the facts which, uh, which are an, another confirmation for systematic torture carried out by the CIA but also by other US agencies, um, there will be new investigations and prosecutions within the US. But uh, yeah, nothing so far, nothing happened and this is why we in Europe um, have to get active again. The situation in Germany changed um, after uh, 2004. In 2004 and 2006, when we first filed complaints against Rumsfeld and other in Germany, um, there was no uh, special unit within the prosecutor's office to investigate these kind of crimes. Now we have a specialized uh, unit here and we have a much more political willingness um, to investigate these kind of crimes and much more experience as well. So this is why they um, were at the prosecutor's office willing to open a so-called preliminary examination, which is already a big step. What is very interesting is how those implicated actors know that once they go beyond the bounds of the United States, that they, are, they could be in trouble. And that in and of itself is impact. You know, we know that at various levels of the U.S. government, the imperative against travel is a, is a very strong one. We know that there, you've created uh, a sense of danger that you might be held accountable for these crimes that you committed. In 2014, the Spanish government, in agreement with the Chinese government, changed the law so there is no more formal universal jurisdiction in Spain. And the Spanish court is trying to close the case. We have appeal against that resolution and we're pending of that appeal. Specifically in France, we have well, a procedure that was launched for former detainees.
it's a criminal procedure, and now the Court of Appeal accepted that uh, French justice convokes General Miller so that he answers the questions on his responsibility. So that's the very last um, step that was taken by the French justice, and now we're just waiting for Mr. Miller to be convoked and to answer all the questions and hope he will show up. Je suis assez pessimiste. Je pense pas qu'il va. Je pense pas qu'il va venir. En même temps, symboliquement, c'est très fort parce que il y a déjà un responsable, il y a un nom qui a été désigné. Et, et ce qui est intéressant, c'est que ça ouvre la porte à, 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 à des démarches. Parce que si on a la, la, la justice française a convoqué le général Miller, elle peut convoquer d'autres personnes maintenant, parce qu'elle l'a fait pour une personne, c'est une plainte qui peut s'élargir. The situation of nearly complete impunity of U.S. torture uh, is now uh, lasting for one and a half decades. So we know already uh, that the U.S. Um, governments are not really willing to hold their own U uh, torturers and those who are the architectures um, of the torture system accountable. One idea is uh, part of the reason we're here in Germany with ECCHR, uh, which is to develop the international pressure in Europe and potentially in the ICC that will help put pressure on the United States to recognize that the world condemns this and that the United States therefore should take action to punish torturers. Well, uh, ECCHR is supporting us with all the legal uh, grounds that on international law and with documents and with uh, they are feeding our case with a lot of information and also they are coordinating us with the other lawyers in the other countries. So without ECCHR, most probably we were like living in an island alone and we talk with ourselves and we take decision by ourselves. ECCHR's major uh, asset is to be able to call and coordinate the people in a right and a strategic way. We are going to work with ECCHR to select the people to be questioned uh, after Mr. Miller uh, so that they help us gather information about their role, about uh, their responsibilities. It's become clear in the United States and Europe that ECCHR is one of the most important uh, entities in thinking about global accountability and U.S. accountability for torture and other crimes. Their case brought with CCR in 2004 and 2006 against Rumsfeld was a first critical step and they've sustained the thinking around and developing cases strategically. They're doing a very great job and they are really the only those one who is uh, fighting against torture, fighting, uh, fighting for victims. La première, c'est que quand je racontais mes tortures, 